All of you, hands on your heads. Come on. Keep your hands up. Keep them up there. Come on. We're fucked. I need a cigarette. If there ever was a god. Of course there's a god. Who said there was no god? If there's a god, why is this shit happening to us? Maybe he has something to teach us. No! What do you mean, no? I need this. Smell that? Petroleum fumes. You light up and we're all dead. It's like a gas chamber in here. We'll all die slowly. Oh, God, not like this. I would not like this. I want to Shut out. up! Jesus, do you all have to be such wimps? There's got to be a way out of here. Not through the door, dude. Obviously. Well, let's find a way out. Jake, over here. Dude, I can get through there. $3.17. What's going to happen to us? Geez, settle down. People will come looking for us eventually. Just won't be for a very long time. Maybe we better try to find our own way out. But what if they're out there waiting for us? If they catch us, they'll throw us back into that hole horrible furnace room. Well, we have to do something. We can't just sit around and do nothing. If those townies find a way out, they might not even tell us about it. That would be ridiculous. We're all in this together. They can't hate us that much. Well, maybe we should find some place to meditate. 
Things would look clear. Good no, idea. We're so hungry. Your face is hungry. You have to pay. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. There's no way out. What do you mean there's no way out? We tried all the doors. There's no way out. They're all locked. You could have checked all the doors. We did. That's not possible. We gotta get some food. We're starving. And the guy has all the... Hey, you have to pay for those. The rules just changed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Out. What do you mean there's no way out? We tried all the doors. There's no way out. They're all locked. You could have checked all the doors. We did. That's not possible. We gotta get some food. We're starving. And the guy has all those pizzas. And he's... Hey, you have to pay for those. The rules just changed. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! Mm. No. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. I'm really sorry, no, but you we're can't so, just pay we're so hungry. We're so hungry. You have to sorry. pay for it. Thank you. Hey, I was looking for those. I found them first. I want them for my pizza. Me too. Hey, are you? Arwen? Tom? You still live in town? Yeah, I only moved a few miles away. <laughs> hey, remember when we always used to play Luke and Leia? Hiding for the rebellion on the dusty planet of Tatooine? Of course. <laughs> Your Highness. <laughs> Dude, what the hell are you doing talking to this Rue girl? I gotta go. Look, guys, we gotta find a way out. We should split up into groups and look around. Uh, me and Jake, and you three? Yeah. What about us? What about you? Why don't you go shave your heads and chant? <laughs> <laughs> you think you're smart enough to find your way out alone? At least I'm man enough to have gotten us out of that furnace room. You think I couldn't have? How? A little faggot bitch like you? <laughs> Anyway, do you want to come? Yeah. Why don't we go too? Well, that was intense. Yeah. So, ignoring you too, huh? <sighs> yeah, but I'm used to it. Yeah, me too. You want to go for a walk or something? Oh, yeah.
Would you please not smoke? I'm allergic. <laughs> oh, I said please don't do that. <laughs> do what? <sighs> Look, I understand that you think you need this, but there are other ways to relax. Try meditation. It's a w oh. Dress up as Tinkerbell. Oh, yeah? I can see you as Tinkerbell. <laughs> Look, more costumes. Ooh. So pretty. Jenna. <laughs> no fucking way. Oh, come on. It's your color. Just try it. <laughs> Divindi. <laughs> no. I don't think it's me. Oh, come on. It's your color. I will if you will. Okay. <laughs> hey, where'd they go? <laughs> Do you think they'll be okay? I'm sick of worrying about them. Gosh. They'll work it out. This whole Rue Towie thing is so stupid. Yeah, you know what? I agree. You're Rue and you're not so bad. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, Renaissance costume. Ooh. Wow, it's short. Oh, oh, here, let me help you. No, it's okay, I got it. No, really, let me help you. No, don't be stupid, let me help you. God damn it. Oh, wow. That's a really nasty scar. Where did it come from? Car accident. What happened? I had to climb out through a broken windshield. Oh, God, that sounds really scary. You know, I got cut by windshield glass in a car accident, too, see? I was driving. <laughs> Were you? You don't want to know. Those little scars on your neck are probably the worst thing that ever happens in your perfect world. But in my world, people die. That's not fair. My world is hardly perfect. Bad things happen to everyone. We're all human, and tragedy is a part of all our lives. Who died, Jenna? You can tell me if you want to. I'll understand. Maybe it'll make you feel better to talk about it. It was really cold that night. There was frost on the windshield and black ice on the road. I remember Mom was driving fast, because we were late for the performance. Riley was singing in the concert. She had a solo and she really wanted us to come. We went speeding around the curve. It was too fast, and Mom lost control of the car. It skidded and rolled over into a ditch. Mom was pinned. She was in a lot of pain. I could see it in her eyes. I managed to climb out through the broken windshield. I didn't even notice when the broken glass skirted my back. I told her I'd be right back. I was going for help. I started walking through the snow. And I heard this 
roaring. She hadn't turned the engine off. I looked back. The car was on fire. I ran back towards the car. Mom screamed. Oh, please, God, no. I, I couldn't get in. I couldn't get to her. It was too hot. I could feel it burning my face. Oh, I still hear her screams in my head. Mommy! I'm so sorry I couldn't save you. Let me get this for you. What's your house like? It's not a house, it's a trailer. And it's a big metal piece of shit. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm Tanya. What's your name? Oh, sorry, I'm Sean. So, do you have a sister? The blonde crackhead. What's the crackhead? You'll find out when you're older. Okay. So, is your sister the overly blissful freak? How do you know? You look so much alike. You know, I really love my sister. Really? I hate my sister. <laughs> you know, if we ever get out of here, I bet our sisters will be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see it now. Jenna trying to <laughs> give your sister a joint. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then Davindi will try to feed Jenna a veggie burger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya. after mom died. But I've been so angry at the world, at mom, myself. It's not your fault. I'm sorry I took it out on you. Don't you die on me too. I love you, Tanya. Here it is, I have coffee. Just a little more, just a little more, one more sip. More? Uh, here. You okay? Oh shit, I don't have my gum! It's okay, chill, you won't die. Dude, you don't understand, I need to go find some. We used to be able to talk. Why are you so afraid to talk to me now? Oh, 
Ah, oh, dude, you scared me. Sorry. What are you doing? Don't you have something better to do? No, there's nothing else going on. What are you looking for? Oh, nothing. Why, Jake? Why? What the hell are you talking about? Why did you break up with me? You changed. I liked you before, but you changed. Things change. Things got strange after Jenna's mom died. Dude, it's not like you killed her or anything. Yeah, I did. All right, now you're just being stupid. All right, how did you kill her? She died because of me. Jenna could have died too. Jenna's mom died in a car accident. How's that your fault? You don't even drive. It just was. She was on her way to see me. I practically forced them to come to my stupid concert. Look, they wouldn't have gone if they didn't want to go. Besides, there's nothing you can do to change the past. You might as well live in the present and stop beating yourself up all the time. It's depressing. Yeah, you could be right. Oh, there's gum. Life is good. Come on, let's get out of here. Why did you help me during the fight? I told you I'm gay. So? I don't like you like that. I just like you as a friend. That's new. What do you mean? Well, I... Oh, why would you care? I don't even know you, and you sure as hell don't know me. You just seem like an interesting person. I thought I'd like to get to know you. I just haven't had many friends. The few I did have left me when they found out I was gay. Why'd they leave you? Because they were all either too cool to hang out with the gay guy, or they were just afraid of me. That I'd hit on them or something. I never really fit into this town anyway. Put gay on top of being a loser and then absolutely nobody likes you. I like you. Yeah? Well, you're different from them, thank God. I think this might be the longest conversation I've ever had with a stranger. You're pretty easy to talk to. Thanks. Just don't call me a stranger. Okay, I won't. <laughs> and then my dad comes in, and we're both just standing there, covered in his shaving cream. <laughs> God, you've changed so much since then. What? We used to have so much fun together. What happened to you? Well, you moved away. No, I mean that made you so embarrassed to even talk to me. I'm not embarrassed to talk to you. It's just you're in, you're in all this weird guru stuff now. I was always a meditator, Tom. But it didn't used to matter to us that you were a townie and I was a Rue. We still had fun together. When we were kids, everyone was just people without labels. Why should it suddenly matter to us now? Hey guys? Guys, this is how to get out! <laughs>